Hello everyone. Um, this is Money Map Time. I, I'm Olugbe Robelo. Um, wish you a, a, new, a wonderful month. And of course, the big one this month is the U.S. election, and um, we believe it's an opportunity for us to to build on our investment portfolio and make some returns. So um, normally, we we have we. We are more we are much more interested in the long-term sustainable investments uh which is you look for a good company that pro that provides a good product or service and um you look at good management you want to, you want to be sure that they have a good market share and many other things that we consider however um we can also trade on events so some events present some unique opportunities to make um some decent profits Right, uh, whether a company is merging with another one, or they are launching a new product, or they've just acquired one license, but events always gives opportunity or sometimes threats. Uh, we see the U.S. election as uh, as an opportunity. Uh, reason being that um, the stock markets in the last two three weeks have uh, the U.S. stock markets have gone down. Uh, one re in terms of prices, one reason being that. Uh, uh, there's a surge in a uh, number of corona cases and some economists are locking down. Uh, the UK is locking down, I think, from this week. Uh, some other countries in Europe are locking down as well. And so the market will be G3, price of, uh, price of stocks are going down. Uh, similarly, we have the issue of uh, the stimulus check in the US. So when, during, when the pandemic broke out earlier in the year, I mean, they rallied around both the Democrats and the Republicans um to give out stimulus check i think one thousand two hundred dollars for each person and and that helped in no small measure you know to have to make it possible for people otherwise they would have been in a recession by now but because of that stimulus check i mean if you have one thousand two hundred dollars then you can buy your groceries pay for your utilities your internet buy and all sorts uh so that has stored since um the Democrats want to pay, they want more, a bigger stimulus package. Uh, the Republicans don't want, they want a lower one. They both want stimulus, but uh, the stimulus package, but the Democrats want more, and that has created a kind of uh, um, log jam and no progress on it. So the market is reacting badly because if this stimulus package doesn't come out, then it's going to affect uh, the economy. If people have money in their pockets, that's when they can buy stuff. It's only when people buy stuff and the companies sell that the value of their shares, the investors will be interested in them. So that's that's the that's the connection. So as we go into the election, so already you notice that um, if you are following the prices, prices have been down, and um, this may peak, not even peak. Uh, you will see that on the election night, depending on how things go, we expect it to see go down further. Now, another challenge with the election is that um, we foresee a situation whereby we will not have a clear winner by the night of uh, October, I mean, November 4th. Um, reason be that there are a lot of legal traps that have been set by both, say, both the Democrats and the Republicans. So there are some key states, uh, Pennsylvania, uh, Michigan, Wisconsin, whereby um, some some rulings have been made in court to allow, you know, voters to, to allow more votes to count. Apparently, the, the Republicans want to suppress votes, while the Democrats want more people to be able to vote. So one of the issues will be that if you send your vote by mail, as we speak now, they've been many states, in many places, they've been sending their votes by mail. So the law in those three states, the, the law used to be that if you're if your vote doesn't arrive that on the on the on, on November four, then it will not be counted. But the Democrats have gone to secure a court ruling that even if it doesn't arrive on that day and it arrives on later day, it should still be counted, provided there's an evidence that um, that you posted you po you posted your vote before then. So that will be the the mail stamp on it. And so the, they've gotten the ruling at the state level, but the, the Republicans have gone to the federal level to challenge that. So what, depending on what happens at the federal level, we could have a situation whereby some people will be disenfranchised. And there are also some other rules about what, 
what kind of vote will be eligible and what will not be eligible, whether somebody signed it, whether somebody witnessed it. So all these things will create a situation whereby even when you have, by the time the electoral officers are rejecting some votes, you will see one party that feel aggrieved going to court and suing. And so we expect a messy legal battle following the election, and, and which the market doesn't like. market doesn't like uncertainty. So that means that prices could go to will go down further. Uh, so we are not bothered about this. Uh, we are very sure that at the end of the day, uh, uh, a president will emerge. And not only that, whoever become president now will see the stimulus because the economy needs the stimulus. So it's just so our bet is that at this time, we'll take advantage um, of the, the falling stock prices and enter I mean, some of the stocks that we are very conversant with the Teslas, the Netflix, Amazon, and the rest. I mean, some of them have gone down by 15, 10, 20% in the last two weeks. So it's an opportunity to come down with, with the expectation that um, by the time whatever all the mess in America is restored and the president emerges, uh, we see the markets going up again. So that's, that, that's our push to it. Um, so, However, uh, there's a need um, in, in, in taking advantage of these uh, events in the United States. Uh, there's a system to it. Um, so we, we will be available to, to give guidance on how, how to do There's a system in terms of when to enter, what price to enter, how many out, what's your um, the size of investment. Um, for instance, we think that we need like a, a generational approach to this opportunity. You start with the child, or the father, or mother, and the grandfather or grandmother as you wish. Uh, so what we are just saying that it has to be a leveled investment. So you enter first as the market goes down, goes down, gives an opportunity to, to for us to enter at a cheaper rate. We do that again. Uh, we watch the events, the legal cases, and the way the way election we'll then we come down again. And while it's doing this, we are also looking at the companies that really have the real prospects that are not going to they are not going to be troubled by uh, the coronavirus. So we are looking at companies in the IT as well as companies, um, medical companies that have good prospect of coming up, coming up with um, a good vaccine to fight the the virus. So we'll be communicating to you on what's our program on how to take advantage of this event. And this for this event, uh, beyond the election, dynamics could change depending on who emerges as the president because uh, the two parties have different ideas of how to run the economy. So which presents its own threats and uh, opportunities. So let's quickly look, look at um, um, some of the charts. We want to look at the the S and P 500 chart, and to explain how this, to have a a better understanding of how things uh, may pan out, we are going to look at the S and P 500 index. Uh, so a stock market index is like a price that um, that represents all the stocks on that index. So we are we are we are probably conversing when in Nigeria we say all share index. All share index means that all the a price that represents all the stocks listed on the Nigerian stock exchange. So the index just lets you have an average idea of what is going on in a particular market. So if you have 100 shares on an index and the index goes up, it means that on the average, those 100 shares have appreciated. Now, I said average, some could go down, some could go up, but when you average all of them together, if you say it's, the index has gone on, that means on the average, the, all the constituent stocks that make other index have, you know, they've gone up together. So in a, when you talk of foreign stock, I mean, the major indexes will be the S&P 500, uh, the NASDAQ, the Dow Jones Industrial, which we'll talk about. We can break this down in um, subsequent videos. Uh, but for now, so what does this does for us is that so instead of breaking down and be talking about uh, the 500 stocks that makes that, that, that make up s p which we don't have time to do we just speak to the the index itself s p 500 and like i said there are 
three major indexes that we should look at when it comes to U.S. stock: the S&P, um, Nasdaq Composite, or Nasdaq 100, or as well as the Dow, Dow Jones Industrial Average. So, what we are saying is that this is S&P um, in the last in the last one year. So. Now this is a graph, but it's not. It's not just a picture. This is money. These are people. This graph represents people and investment. So what you see, look at from November 2019, it it went up. Meaning that the stocks that make up this index, see this how they go up or they go down. Now, if you look to your right, you see the numbers. Um, so at this point that I'm pointing at, uh, the value was 3377. 3, but sometimes in March, you see how much it fell, 2,193. This was during the peak of the lockdown in March. as So you could see how much stocks would have gone down. So some people sold at this time. Um, Why this was the point, this low point was the point that some people came into the stock market. And you saw that it, uh, it rose, you really do, not on a straight line, it goes up and down, goes up and down. But the long-term trend that it rose all the way, you can see up to September. Uh, so in September, the index. So it just gives you an indication of what's been happening to the stocks uh, on the average. On the average, so when I talk of index, it's an average of every all the stocks that make up the index. So it's just this. What you are looking at is not just uh, a graph. It's a representation of real investors, real money, and real stocks of what mix up so on the s p all the stocks that you know um the major ones that you know they make up that uh, s p 500 stock there are about 500 of them so that the point you are making now is that you can see in october look at this point and point uh, this point uh this was at october 12th you see that uh this the index have gone down have gone down to like 3270 right as the market you know waiting for what will happen as regards the new wave of corona lockdown and as regards the stimulus check that have helped businesses and individuals as well as the market to go now i showed this chart so that we can know how things could really deteriorate deteriorate in reaction to the election and all the issues that relate to it the legal issues that we spoke about and uh, uh, the corona issue so if it went down as as low as 2200 so you can assume this is money 2212 in march then depending on how the market reacts to the election and everything that we follow it so meaning that we have to be there's a way in investing in this stock in in this um, ele upcoming election we see the opportunity that is going to go down so but we need to have a plan a money management plan how much when we are going in what stock are we buying how much are we putting to in relation to our capital so some people are using someone is using hundred dollars to invest, another person is used two thousand dollars so you are not going to do the same thing in absolute terms uh, but you are going to look at each person's portfolio and know and give a guide on what to do so meaning that we have to have a plan from the elect from now it's already down election night may be another thing then when the court cases that we expect will come by the time they start the market will also react so these are the things that uh, that we need to do we uh, at money map we are able to give a guidance on this and we, we we communicate to you on how we intend to do to do this but we believe it has a uh, this is a real genuine opportunity because at the end of the day, a president will emerge in the United States. Um, the stimulus check will come out. Um, corona will be managed one way or the other. Maybe the vaccine is not anywhere in sight here, but a lot of progress is made. And um, the sectors, the stocks that are in focus now, of course, will be the healthcare stocks, mostly those that people that have, um, the companies that have chance of coming up with, a, with vaccines or whatever that can use to manage the COVID-19 issue, as well as the um, technological stock, which is changing the way we live, with, the way we are adapting to COVID-19 and the way we will be living going forward. The technology has been re redefining how, you know, how we have lived our lives. So those will be the focus, but uh, the opportunity is genuine and expect to 
hear from us on how we tend to go about it. It needs to be managed. There's a system to it. There's a system to it. We'll communicate to you. Please subscribe to this channel um, so that you will have um, subsequent um, episodes on, on what to do on the stock market, on any investment. Um, after the election, it's a different ballgame because each party, except if Trump wins, then you expect what has happened the last five, four years or so to continue. If um, if uh, Democrats win Joe Biden, then they have their own ideas of how to go about things. And all these things present their own opportunities and threats. But be sure that we are able and will be there to guide you. Thank you very much.